Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and in this week's review we'll be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Studio Series Cliff Jumper from the Bumblebee movie. Now I wanted to do these in order but I haven't got the other of the like 63, 64 and 65, 66 and 67. Hopefully maybe 68 of Leadfoot but here we have number 64 Cliff Jumper. Now, the reason why I got this so quickly, I saw in a few comments on my Instagram, is that I have got this guy on Amazon, and you can get him in a couple days on Amazon. So, that's how I was able to get him so quickly, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. So, here he is, in the box, then, for the packaging, you have that nice open window that fully showcases the figure, a nice CGI image of him there, with Cliff Jumper, Bumblebee movie, Transformers Generation text logo, an up close CGI image of them there. You got your photo shots there for the back of the package. Then you have an outer um, CGI image of them there. And then, as the battle on Cybertron rages, Cliff Jumper and his fellow Autobots are overwhelmed by the Decepticon attacks. So that's basically the um, the bio. But anyways guys, let's get this guy out of here and see how cool he really is. And here we have Clip Jumper out of the box. Now, yet again, I wanted to show you guys the background real quick of the Cybertronium city of Cybertron. Looks pretty good. I love the background of how it looks. I honestly, I'm just going to say I really like this one. I think this would be really cool to display in the background and stuff like that. But... It's number 64, right, right here. I think the Cybertronium background is really cool. Um, I don't know if Optimus had this background or Optimus had the Golden Gate Bridge background. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the background. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the figure now. We're just going to go ahead to the back of the side. And here we have Clip Jumper, the toy, sitting here, right here, like right here so I need to get this removed soon uh, maybe lower it down but I'm not sure what I want to do um, but what I want to say about this figure is that the chest plate's really nice I like how it looks um, it's similar to Afro Bumblebee which I'll go on ahead and bring a comparison and here we have them both right here so they're really similar the, um, the arms are very similar especially the weapons that we have of choice here but the weapons are repainted a bit and different head sculpting and different like sculpting everywhere but I really think Cybertronium Bumblebee will be similar to Cliff Jumper very much but other than that guys I really think that these guys are really similar because there's tires in the back there and the only problem that they have a difference is that this guy has a bigger backpack compared to off of Bumblebee that's quite something major there but other than that guys I think that's basically about it for comparison with robot modes Go ahead and prep him back up. That we're gonna go ahead and take him out of okay, So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the figure. But, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the weapon. It's basically practically the same as off-road bumblebee. It really is. So for the weapon, you have a nice silver-edged paint job for the cannon. Then you have a dark gray background. So Really nothing different about this entire thing, so... Nope, nothing too terribly different. Yeah. Paint job's kind of cool. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the figure. Well, I don't want to keep this video too long. I'm gonna st start sh uh, shortening my figure videos. So from here, we do have a different head sculpting. I really think that could, they could have done better on the head sculpting. Then for the arms, they're pretty good. Coated paint with black paint for the arms and the wrist here. But on the side of the wrist, you just have that red coated paint. Then for the legs, you do have um, a different paint job. Now, apparently, people said, I saw on Instagram, you can change the legs, how they look, instead of making them look like this. Or what is it, how do, how do we, I don't know. They come, they come, oh wait, oh wait, now I know. Here, I'm supposed to make it go like this. Hold on, guys. Go like that with the tire. Instead of making the leg look like that, you can make it look like this. 
So simply what you want to do is you want to take this piece out on the back, flip the tire out roughly, like that, put that piece back, then there's like, you can just tab it right there, or you can do whatever you want, and it should just tab, be like that. Very much better of how it looked. So, that's it for the legs. Really nothing too terribly has changed for it, but that's a lot better than it was. And for the backpack, it's just very big and stuff like that. And the chest place is really nice. So, that's basically about it for the figure. That's all I can see, but it's just got nice coated red on it. So we're gonna go on ahead and take a look at vehicle mode and see how cool that looks also. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. And here he is in vehicle mode. Very tiny actually. I like how, I mean, honestly guys, this literally looks like the war for Cybertron or Fall of Cybertron Cliff Jumper from the video game. And I honestly do like how the vehicle looks. I mean this interior here of style looks pretty good. I like how it looks. I mean, it's just amazing. The front here is just amazing how it looks. I mean, I mean, there's a lot that's really cool about it. It rolls really nice. It really does roll quite nice. And let's see if I can fix something here. I wanted to see something. This is like how you fix it up. Maybe I just fixed it. No, no, it's gonna stay like that. There, that fixed it quite a bit. There. Okay, so, yeah, no, I think this vehicle mode looks pretty great. Um, it's kind of similar to off road Bumblebee's transformation mode. Just trying to make sure and make sure I did this right. Honestly, it really doesn't matter because it's kind of hard to tell. But, guys, I really think it looks pretty good. It rolls quite nice. Um,. Other than that, guys, I like, I mean, the tires are pretty good. They have that red, like, red kind of mushroom peg on here. But, honestly, guys, I think, also another thing I'm noticing is that these, what's well, holding the tire in here is actually kind of clear plastic here. That's another thing. You got, like, red mushroom peg in there, and you got a clear mushroom peg in there. So, guys, I, I really think I like how this really looks. I like how the back end looks. I mean, it's good to see that they're, like, doing better and improving with the back end here. But, yeah, no. I mean, I really like how this looks. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it really looks. I mean, I love the how the model of this vehicle looks. The front is my favorite. I just like that. That's just 100% amazing. I like it. So, other than that, guys, that's about it for this review for this week. I will see you guys in the next review. Thank you guys for all the support. We're almost to 300 subscribers. Let's keep it up. Thank you guys for watching this video, guys.